Right now, winds already at 70 miles per hour. A little closer to home, we are seeing some cloud cover really starting to develop off in the distance. This is our Birmingham Tower Camp from the BJCC. Temperatures right now 83 degrees. Winds out of the north, but not necessarily keeping us very dry. Cluster of showers right now from Alabaster down towards Calera and up into Hoover, producing some isolated pockets of heavy rainfall right now. Cahaba River Estate seeing that very heavy rain. This stretches all the way over to I-65 near Indian Springs and Pelham as we move back towards the west along 459, seeing some heavy rain from Hilltop down towards Greenwood. And then as we travel down towards Shelby County in the city of Chelsea, between Chelsea and East Saginaw, look at this very heavy rainfall over towards Yellowleaf Creek Estates. So just keep a watchful eye out, especially if you have plans to go out to any of those Friday night football games. For the next 60 minutes, these showers and storms will slide to the south. Heaviest rain will be towards Demopolis and Linden and Marengo County. Most of the wet weather stays along in south of Interstate 20. So if you are heading out to any of those football games tonight, temperatures will remain in the upper 70s for that kickoff. Final whistle at 73, an occasional shower or storm. I did have a viewer email and asked if they needed the poncho, and I said you may want to tuck it just in case. So for tomorrow, though, we could be dealing with rainfall as early as sunrise. So if you do have plans tomorrow, keep a radar handy. Make sure you download our app because you can track that rain right from the palm of your hand. By 12 o'clock tomorrow, showers and storm from Coleman to Birmingham. That pushes south through midday and then Saturday 4 p.m. Look at this heavy, heavy rainfall in East Mississippi and West Alabama, and that's really going to be the bullseye for our heaviest rainfall for tomorrow. As we move into Sunday, drier air begins to slide in and it will damp out most of the rain for Sunday. I'll still keep in a stray shower to primarily west of I-65 in the morning hours, but then by afternoon some rain to our north. All right, excessive rainfall risk for tomorrow, one to three inches possible for most of central and west Alabama. As you move further east, our excessive rainfall risk goes down, but it's still there. So about an inch likely anywhere from Heflin down towards the Wiregrass. As we move into Sunday, though, that excessive rain threat moves south as most of the showers will be to our south as well. After the rain begins to slide out Sunday, we're looking at sunshine early next week, accompanied by some heat, and that means excessive heat. Those heat index values back in the low 100s to start next week, and then we are looking at a few more scattered showers and storm by mid to the latter half of next week as well. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.